been a while since we've done a thief run. So let's try a thief run. I actually wanted to try starting with Heartseeker instead of Mage Bane. Well, there's Heartseeker. Okay. Um, not a lot of good supporting items, but decent stuff. We'd like to see like a disarm item or some evasion or some more crit, but hopefully we can just find that. So with this shop setup, we're probably going to take abundant shops to try to find some other, uh, what's it called? Some of the important items. So let me switch my title. This is going to be Thief. Alright, NG plus 20 Thief. Yeah, so our strategy will be start out with basically just Heartseeker and Lucky Hat. And then when we do the Fountain, we'll just add on Abundant Chops. So, Kinetic Eruption, Center Demise, Wicked Sickness, Overflowing Physique, and Groovy Ghost. Uh, our chapel stuff is good. Let's change our statues. So Cedric will be changed for Fairlaf. And Wilmer changed for Callus? Kyra? I feel like I normally go Kyra. Lowers the health of an attacker by 5% when evading. Each level the statue increases damage done by disarmed and stunned enemies by 5%. So we're looking at 30% against stun and disarm. We currently don't have any stun or disarm items. So that could factor into it. So maybe we'll go Callus for now to get some more block and we'll just get the flat attack power. So we look at our character sheet. The statue adds 156 uh, attack power, which is over half. Oh, well, a little under half. Okay, we'll try that. But maybe if we find like a stun or disarm item kind of early on, we'll log out and switch over the statue. Pretty much done all of my <laughs> Um, runs with Feralath, so all right. There's abundant shop, so we'll do that instead of the monoliths. Overseer. All right. I think we have set up everything, so let's buy some more. Fifteen hundred. That's not enough to upgrade anything. And we're doing NG20, just making sure, NG20. All right, let's go. Let's see if we have enough damage slash survivability. We should be fine. Um, we just normally go Mage Bane, so we're gonna be hitting a lot better crit chances early. We're at 33% right now with eight luck, so maybe in like the 40 area. Uh, it's hard for me to do the calculations, I don't really know the ratio for luck. I guess we did have a stun in the form of smoke bomb. But stuns don't really apply to bosses, so it's kind of hard for me to say that that's better than this, where we just have the extra attack power versus everything. I definitely like Kyra for the attack speed and the extra projectiles, because those projectiles also uh, proc her passive to reduce the health. 
Gold Fever. <clears throat> we just need to use our smoke bombs like really well. Anytime we feel like we're in danger and just kind of save up a little mana. Like, you'll see when I'm moving around, I'm using my right click as well. Because uh, if I move around, I'm going to lose my mana. So I spam right click in case I ever get 20 mana before Overflowing Physique takes it away. So I get a little extra damage that way. But um, if I'm standing still or I'm waiting on a stun, I stop spamming it so I can get up to the 40 mana so I can actually stun. That's the that's the plan at least behind what I'm playing. So like now I saved up. Now I'll start spamming while it's on cooldown. What's my my regen is 27.6 a second. So as the sorcerer gets higher, I might actually hit 40, and it'd be one second of downtime between when I didn't have mana and when I had mana. So I'd be able to stun within a second, which would be pretty legit. Um, if it's like two seconds or something, then it may not be enough time to live. Also, we don't need to kill everything because we've done some uh, pyramid runs in this character. So we're almost 118 already. So we can kind of skip at least most of the enemies in Act 1, 2, and 3. When we're strong and in Act you know, 4 and beyond. And we'll kill those enemies because they'll give us more XP anyway. Yeah, that was a lot of enemies and they're enraged. It's about to come off cooldown, so we're looking to uh, save up the mana for it. Micro a little bit. But really just looking for the Overseers to kill to potentially get some more items. Evasion, so that makes uh, Feralath a little better. But our Feralath is kind of low level compared to our Kallus. So Kallus might just be the pick because we've invested so much ore into it. It gives us so much more damage. But we have 56 Evasion and Smoke Bomb with 8 luck. So it might be around 60 or 70? I'm not really sure. So it might be proccing Feralath a lot. Um, Wizard Wand. So that would be plus 4 magical and primary. That is pretty good. I feel like we just need some more damage. So 20 attack power. And the rest of this is kind of garbage, so we'll go with the health. Plus 30 health is pretty decent. Rogue has a, or Thief has pretty low health. Oh, there's another Overseer. There's a lot of Overseers, but they haven't been giving me any items. And another one. It's been like 10. Which I think they increase the higher NG you run. You get more and more of them. So it kind of makes sense where we've been finding like zero to two on some of our other characters. Now we're finding like ten. Burn Buckler. All right. So depending on how bad first phase of the stone guy is, we may just have to back off until we get bats. Never mind. We don't have to back off. All right, never mind. I always think he's gonna be tanky like he used to be, and he is not. 
he gets murdered. Well, our damage seems good. Um, I'm still kind of like uneasy of the switch we did with the statues. Our, uh, our damage should be a little less RNG based at least. And we still don't have a guaranteed like stun or disarm like Blackjack, Gladiator's Net to really make the most out of a uh, Feralath. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I got stuck. <laughs> Thank you, Evasion. <laughs> Alright, that was a good stun. Try to clean up all these guys. Oh, I hit the same one again. Don't expect much out of this now. Alright, so this is our fourth try. This will be fifth try. Hey, we still got a chest and a tricksters item. So now we got two piece tricksters. Alright, I expected the worst. I expected bronze key. I guess the worst is when you really fail and you get an apple. Feels bad. Oh, an overseer. I would have missed this one. Alright, that's fine. Next floor. What was that item? Uh, Greaves of the Barbarian. Get some more movement speed, nothing wrong with that. I'll just make this run that much faster. I like how fast paced the the thief is. Like playing it versus playing the gladiator, it's like such a huge difference. Jeez, alright. We need to not get caught out in the open like that without mana. These guys are like super angry. Which I mean we only hit half health, but really don't want to hit under like 80% health at any time. Especially without like dealing damage to the enemies. I guess our damage is still kind of low. It's getting it's getting good though. Once we get some attack speed, if the shop offers us attack speed, uh, that'd be like insanely good for us right now. Blackjack, Slipper Cloak, Ring of Tea. We got some good stuff here. Let's get our stun. Uh, that'll help like keep some of this stuff off of us. Let's get our evasion. This is a tune, so 6% plus 6%. And the three piece, we get another 5%. And then I think I want to take Ring of Tea. So I just always have, if I get hit, I have mana to stun. And that seems really important. Also, I think I found few journeymans. Yeah, we're at three-piece journeymans. So if we get offered another journeyman's piece, we should uh, definitely take it. Get the 10% reduction. Alright, let's do some memorization. Scythe, scythe, scythe. Okay, circle, circle. X, X, Y, Z. Scythe, circle, X, Y, Z. Scythe. Circles. X, Y, and Z. All right, easy enough. 20% damage to things that are close to me, which will be literally everything. There's so many bannermen. The bannermen are what's making this scary right now.
Oh, this is the easy one. Alright, so that one and this one. Cyclopedia? Alright, boss number two. I hate when it has those lines. I don't know what happens where it gets those lines, but I hate it. Ooh, Sword of Kings. Little plus 80 attack power. It's a nice little reward. <laughs> No crime goes unpunished. Or no, sorry, no good deed goes unpunished. There we go. Get a good item, but we miss out on a completely other item. I'm just gonna try to skip most of this since we don't need XP. See how bad the uh, the ghosts are. It's also just a lot of lich and bowmen here. All right, seems pretty nice, pretty easy. Got a present for me. <coughs> oh, that's a YouTube subscription. Appreciate the YouTube subscription. <laughs> oh, and we got a follow. Dot near seven nine seven nine seven nine. Appreciate the follow. Welcome. Madison, you're uh, you're out of here. All right, man. Take it easy. Good luck on your future runs. statue. I knew we were creeping up on it. Which one was that? That is Enchanted Dirk. Alright, some more flat damage. First floor is pretty easy. Should be able to keep that up. Greater insight. All right. Still don't really need XP. Just gonna try to kill these uh, elite guys where we can. Just for the chance at additional items. And what do we want? run is going really well, so I think I'm going to pick up the pickaxe just to get some more ore by the end of this thing. I'm going to get some crit on primary. And just in case we start playing like an idiot, we'll uh, grab a venture garb. Another 50 flat life. Maybe that'll save us more than any of those other items. Movement speed looked a little enticing just to go faster, but I'd rather go a little slower and actually get the run done in case I have some like 
unfortunate event. Do something silly. Dead. Got the carry item. Lame. Yeah, I'll take it, I guess. I guess there's another item, but. There's one more to go. Alright, I see where it is. So I'm gonna grab this statue and then look for some more items. Uh, this is kind of like not a good place to fight. to clear out most of this so we can fight the statue in peace. Alright, I'm just gonna run away from that, go collect the rest of the items on this floor and get out of here. Encyclopedia. Keys, extra drink. Anything down here? Oh, some free ore. Definitely need some ore. Looking to upgrade some statues soon. Alright, uh, yeah, sure. Statue off the bat. waiting for you. Alright, this is kind of a uh, yikes. It's a lot of ghosts. Alright, let's go find this imp before he goes away. Oh, he's on the other side. You got experience. You just gotta experience monolith and experience imp. So yeah, we really don't need experience anymore. Another monolith. All right, I'll pick that up before we leave. And we got boss right after this. So, just grab some items. Again, don't need experience. Another apothecary item. Please stop. Right, we got the boots, so... Worked out that we didn't buy them. See if I can kill the necromancer in the back there. Alright, we got him. Oh, we finally got an item. What is this? Is that a robe of the arch magi? I think it was. Pretty decent. I think if anything's gonna kill us, it would be magic damage. Let's see. Yeah, robe of the arch magi. That's everything. Just need this monolith. Protective powers. Okay. Yo, two L's. What's up, dude? Uh, 
let's see my post about using Divine Blast on Thief. Um, refresh me. But on everything with bosses, it's perfect. Yeah, I haven't had too much issue clearing like non-boss stuff. So I've just been going for the boss setup. But I'm not sold that it's the best. It may just be generally better to go blast. I'm also using like some weird statues in my opinion. I was using a uh, Kyra, Bolgarth, and I'm using Kallus, but I normally use Feralith. And I, I haven't decided if I like it more or less. I think Battle said while moving it's perfectly synced with Thief Attack. Oh, that's kind of cool. I know some people use Blast. I have it unlocked, so I'll switch between the two and like try it out a little more. Mechanically, I, I definitely like Blast. It's super nice. And I guess I would say like Strike should be perfectly synced as well because the cooldown so low. But obviously, mechanically, it's not as good as Blast is. I don't know why I'm killing stuff. I don't need the XP. Just need to zoom, zoom. I keep thinking I need to farm out levels because that's normally what happens. But we've had crazy RNG with imps giving us XP and XP monoliths and all that fun stuff. What's your pop level? Um, let's see. I've only done it on this guy, and it is 15, or I've completed 14, however you want to look at it. So statues are 10 or less for most of them, except Kallus. Uh, Feralath is like six, with Kallus being at 11. Got Thief at pop 10 and Paladin at pop 11. Well, I haven't, like, uh, I haven't decided to level another pop, like, character. I keep thinking Thief's gonna fall off at some point, and I'll have to level up Paladin. I just hope if he falls off, it's earlier than later. Because if, if I get Thief to 30 and then I can't progress any further, and then I have to do 30 pop levels on the Paladin. <laughs> Probably just not gonna do it. And that feels kinda bad. But, yeah. I, I should easily be able to get 20 plus uh, as a thief. And it's gonna take quite a while to get those kinda statue levels. I think we're done here. There's definitely some buttons we missed, but we're pretty strong. We got all the visible items and portals. Roots of Freedom, I'll take it. What statues do you normally use for your, uh, your thief? I'm like debating hard between Feralath and Kallus, just because Feralath doesn't do much against bosses. I mean, the evade, I guess, is nice, but um, you can't stun or disarm them, so you don't get the other damage increase. Kallus, if that's armor, yeah. Feralag, and then usually Kyra. Oh, so you just cut out Bogarth. I see. I use Bogarth on everything. All right, so we're going attack speed. We're going Scarab of Protection, and I guess we'll go for Disarm. Podhelm also looks a little appealing, because we already have 20 block from uh, Kallus, and we can get another 20 block there. 40 block, and a 360 is not terrible, but I'm just going to go for the Guaranteed. We should be disarming, like, at least every second.
I could see dropping uh, Volgarth, but I just I like the quality of life so much from it. Getting the extra five seconds of combo. A lot of enemies. We need to clear these out or they're gonna like lag out the game. Right. And it's done. The Thief, attack speed, Volgarth is kind of pointless. Uh, plus you're using Divine Strike and you combo before you're, before you're in crowds usually. Yeah, probably. I should probably try a run without it. But, I mean, also we get 5 attacks pretty quickly, so the 100 magic damage isn't irrelevant in an AoE. But maybe it could switch off Bogarth, pick up Divine Blast, and Profit, maybe? Or we can use the combo AoE plus the, or the Bulgarath combo AoE plus the uh, Kyra projectiles plus, um, what's the other one? The Feralath damage with Divine Strike. All, all the AoE. Just attack really quickly and do a bunch of damage that way. Oh, that's our three piece kings, I believe. Let me see. Two piece. Alright, never mind. That's right, we didn't buy it from uh, the shop because of the skill power. Yeah, now our damage is insane. We should be able to walk through the rest of the game with no issues. Markham's? Okay. Another Markham's. What, how many Markham's is that? It's two piece. All right, so two piece Kings, two piece Markham's. I think we have three piece Duelists and three piece Journeyman's. Let me check on that. Yeah, three piece Tricksters. That's what I meant to say. And, oh, we have four piece journeymans. Okay. We're completing a bunch of sets. Apparently. Getting really lucky with set items. Anyway, yeah, what are you up to, dude? Oh, there is something down there. Rushing some low levels who got abused by a dick of a host. Oh. I don't even know what that would be. That would entail. I haven't done much uh, multiplayer at all. I did a run today with Author. It was interesting. We did a gladiator sorcerer combo in G16. <laughs> we didn't even get in combo. <laughs> hmm. 
He phased before we even made it into combo. That seems pretty rare. Choking. All right, think I'm better. Yeah, we're like phasing the boss before we even get in combo. This is crazy. <clears throat> I wish we could see our attack speed somewhere. Because we also have Sundering Strikes and we just got our 32 stacks. We have the Bracers of Quickness. The host threatened to kick anyone who picked up a legendary item. Uh, what's the point of that? He can't pick it up. Like, who cares? I don't understand. Unless there's some crazy, like, multiplayer strategies that people are doing. Or it's modded. Because he's a dick. No. So, it had no logic to it. It's just... If you pick this up, you're getting kicked. That's so weird. Damage is just insane right now. I keep waiting for the damage to fall off. One of these NGs. Azrath could be a decent statue as well. NG11 easy. Oh, I'm rushing with my NG20 Thief, NG11. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Thief is like crazy good right now. I've been impressed how good it feels uh, since the DLC. Same with the Ranger. The Rangers felt insanely good. And uh, what's the other one that felt really good? Thief, Ranger, and Priest? Let me think, what was the other one? Ranger, Thief, yeah I'd say Priest was the other one. They all feel like super good. <clears throat> Paladin feels exactly the same. Gladiator's new, so you can't really compare it. Wizard, Warlock feel exactly the same to me. You gotta play really defensively. Oh, there was our... There's our third piece kings. And we get an imp. Come on, or an item. Skull Smasher. Better than nothing, I guess. Ooh, Assassin's Dagger. Crit chance is 45% now. Pretty decent. Uh, we're getting pretty hooked up on this run, actually. Or now we are. Felt like it started off kind of slow. 
Not our slowest run, but kind of slow. <laughs> Plus four luck, why not? It's gonna be like that. So that should bring us up to max luck. Or no, 12. We have eight and four. I thought we had the other one, the little one. I guess that was last run. We've already found the imp, so we don't have to really like stall for anything. Got our XP, We're just looking around for some more items. Trying not to crash the game. That was only floor one. Felt like a lot of like items. Fine pan. <clears throat> now that's an interesting item. I feel like there needs to be more interesting items like that. That can actually change how you play the game. Frying pan was like an actual item you wanted on like a sorcerer or wizard to survive like high NG. You just have to walk backwards everywhere. Super cool design. Amulet of Vengeance. Poor Amulet of Vengeance. Oh. Alright, Thief, come on. Another item. Spiked boots. Or, I think I said Thief, I meant to say Imp. Come on, Imp. Stop holding out on me. Give me the war. It's a little extra 50% attack speed. Alright, what we got? Shieldbreaker, Mage Bane. Let's go full damage. Mage Bane. Um, Seal of Souls, yes. Uh, don't care about crit on our dagger. Physical ignores armor or the next step of combo Nova. Or Shieldbreaker. Uh, we'll just grab Shieldbreaker. I think that's the highest DPS items that were offered. Almost guaranteed, really. Shieldbreaker Mage Bane. And Seal of Souls. That's a 100% extra damage because I'm never going to have any mana. There's our four piece tricksters bringing us to 58 evade chance outside of a uh, smoke bomb or 70 in with 12 luck.
I don't think it's like possible to die anymore. And that's the kind of thief we like playing. <laughs> Ace chest. Yikes. We don't have an ace key. There's probably plenty of elites we could have killed. And guaranteed one. Or at least upped our chances greatly. So now we got the combo nova. It's way cheaper this way. Anything over there? Some diamonds? I guess we'll start collecting some gold. We didn't get any sent back to town, so. Collect some gold while we can. Should be pretty good because it's in G20. We've been doing like a lot of our NG10 runs, getting all our other characters up. So the gold gain hasn't nearly been as high. But this thief run should have a pretty good gold gain here. We're still gonna get taxed to hell, but. What can you do? Thundering Strikes. Fancy Plume. This game is rigged. I'd like a refund. The old Battlements Fancy Plume. This is like also what happens on Thief where I'm like not convinced I need Divine Blast because this kind of stuff happens. It's like... I don't even know how to explain it. You basically can't be killed, you don't really care about uh, your damage versus non-bosses anymore. So it feels like you just want to tweak it as good as possible versus bosses. And you're already like still pretty good against bosses no matter what you pick. Roots of the Giant. Cool diamonds over here. <laughs> Curious. All right, where's our last amp? Oh, I think that's where he would have been if we had one. 
we've covered everything else. Oh well. Sometimes never lucky. I'll have to see how my damage falls off as the NGs go higher to see like if I like blast for clearing to bosses or if I like strike for dealing with bosses more. Easier than expected. What did we do? We did 140 million with 40 being physical and 100 being magical. We're kind of catching up on the physical side. I mean, it's not even a third yet. Or, yeah, it is a third. It's over. Um, but yeah, maybe as Kyra gets higher and higher, we'll get closer and closer to this magic. That's going to be a long time though. Uh, the reason I said about Blast being better than Strike is that Strike is only good for bosses. Yeah, I guess I feel like up until... Where's the other or Axe, you get Swamped. You know, Swamp Blast would hit far more. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, until I start struggling on the early Axe, and Strike damage isn't so great against the later bosses. Yeah, I don't know. I just haven't quite been sold either way on like what we want to do. Let's see. So we have no trouble with the bosses. We really haven't had any trouble with anything. What do we want to attune? I mean, early stuff is definitely what could potentially get you. It seems like by the time you get to late game, nothing is going to touch you. But I may just not have fallen off yet. Um, let's go Frost Lich, Elite Lich, Battle Mage, Elite Bowman, We got regular Bowman. The Slitch. The Slitch is pretty early on. I did some math on the arena points. Spending 100 points is 2.5 million rounded. Uh, 200 is 10 million, 562, and 1,000 is 250. Hmm. So 1,000 is equal to NG 200. Seems pretty doable until 200. Yeah, I guess I'm like kind of hoping people can't make it to NG 200. Make everything a little, a little better. <laughs> uh, barricade Novas. What else do I want to attune? I think we got all the ranged units. Strong Spearman. That's the guy that charges in X4, I believe. Got the Bowman. Strong Spearman. The guy also charges. Let's make sure they're in check a little bit. Got the Casters. Elite Skeletal Guardian. We'll tune that guy. And honestly, for Act 1, I'll attune these bats. Sometimes the bats can get behind your character and you won't hit them. So I want to make sure that they're not going to randomly kill us. Um, what else? These guys can sometimes be kind of strong. To the warrior and 
and maybe the albino bat for act five. All right, maybe albino bat, but maybe could do the small eyes for act four or these turrets. I think this turret, this is the one that has like kill potential for some characters. I greatly disliked albino bats. I've never been killed by a bat late game. Yeah, I would just say for like early game. Like when you go in act one and you're like not killing everything. Uh, I just do fallen heroes, act three and act five enemies, many bosses and bosses, primarily act one and act three boss. Um, I agree with the act three boss. I've done mostly Act 3 on the Paladin, along with Ghost. But this guy just kind of got to the point where I'm putting things into the uh, the bestiary. Uh, by the time you get to Thunder, he is easy. Yeah. Boy, I remember when you do a whole run in Tide of Thunder, those were the days. Oh, man. Those were the days, in, indeed. Like, you do like a priest run and take you three hours and you die to the last boss. So. What do we want to run next?